Hi guys, we're back Smash Fishing. Bit of a different episode at the moment since we've had a lot of bad weather, mate. Yeah, it hasn't been good. <laughs> yeah, we've got Sam with us today. What we're going to be doing is making some leads because we've lost so many conga fishing lately. We need some, well, we need some disposable ones, that's for sure. So stay tuned, guys. We'll give you a run through of how we're making all these. We've got a variety of different ones which we'll, we'll show you in the video. So stay tuned to Smash Fishing. The sort of leads we're going to be making, guys, is pear leads. We've got the Aquapedo, the old school style moulds, little bomber weights, two, one and two ounce there, all sorts. We got the pound leads or half pound leads and ball weights. We'll be cooking it on a small stove, cast iron pot. We've got some chopping up to do. We've got a ton of lead here and a bucket full up the top. So hell yeah, stay tuned guys. Woo! That's the lead burning now guys. You just want small pieces like, just like so. About two inches by two inches. It melts nicely. And once you get yourself a good pot full, you can keep adding and it will, it will quickly start uh, melting through. So we'll start getting all of our, all of the molds ready. Get some pins in. We've got size six barrel swivels for some. And the normal lead loops. Ooh. Getting ready for it, Sam. Heat proof gloves, hell is a yeah. Must. Something to note when you're uh, melting lead is keep any sort of moisture or water well away from it because it will explode as soon as it hits it. And that's the last thing you want is molten metal on you, basically. Another thing about melting lead, guys, make sure you have a lot of ventilation because you can get lead poisoning from melting this stuff and all the uh, dirt that's on it any sort of tar and stuff you don't want to breathe that in just try and get it try and get as much even a, just a small fan like this just to give you something to blow it away from you oh uh, yeah we're just waiting for this to melt and start pumping them out we're using swivels on the pear leads so i'm just getting them ready and then what we do is either use mold grips or really long sort of grips these are better because Sam could just hold it and then I'm going to pour it in and then we'll start pumping them out. Hell yeah. We just evacuated the shed guys. We've got a big ass hornet in here. <laughs> We've got the lead melt in there. Oh god. So we're going to wall now before we can start making leads. A weird wasp just flew into the pot. It's right down the corner there. <laughs> oh well we didn't have to go to wall with it guys. I tried to hit it off the corner here. And it just flew into the pot. So we got we got a wasp in it. Stay tuned. It's starting to melt a little bit now. Starting to see the smoke. Got a nice big fan. This is what we mean by ventilation. You don't want any of those fumes coming into your lungs. Looking good. What we do now, guys, once your lead's started to melt like so, is you get your spoon, make sure it's nice and hot. And what you're doing is getting all the dross out, all the rubbish from the lead, like that. Get it straight into a pot. It's just so then you've got pure lead. You don't want all this rubbish. A spoon is absolutely boiling. So what you're doing is getting all the scum out, just then you've got nice clean lead. Look at that, hell yeah. So we're going to continue to burn down some more, any bits on the side, get it in there, scrape all the top and what we're going to do is melt a little bit more, we're going to get the moulds, they've all been set up ready now, we're using swivels on these ones, these are beach bombs, so stay tuned, once we get this all sorted, we'll be back making some leads. Sam's just heating up the mould, you have to get your moulds really hot. Otherwise, it just won't take properly. The first couple might not go well. But what we're going to be doing is waiting for the uh, ladle to heat up, and Sam's going to hold the mold over this tray, and I'm going to pour in, and hopefully, 
all goes well. Hell yeah. Let's go get everything set up, guys. About to pour the first one, guys. Always remember, gloves are highly important. No water near the lead whatsoever. Go on then, mate. That's it. What you do is don't fill your ladle too much because this is surprisingly heavy. Quick pour and put everything straight back in there. And get the heat going. And then what we're going to do is take it outside and we're going to show you what, we, what it's like when they open. Hopefully that one looks like a good pour so it should be alright. Yeah, we're going to undo it now guys. We're just giving you the gist of what we're going to be doing. And grab it mate and just knock it on the floor. See this? This means the uh, mould was not hot enough. So now we need to put it on for longer. We're going to be quick so that it retains this heat. What we're doing at the moment guys, just setting up the clips. We're using swivels on these because it's nice to have a swivel. Stops anything tangling so much. And plopping it in the end. This is the part where you're probably going to end up burning your fingers. Because it's a nightmare with the gloves on. There you go. We'll get it straight back on the heat. It's all mounted nicely again. I'm gonna re keep repeating the process and hopefully get some decent weight. Hopefully get a good pour in this one, guys. Sorry the camera's not up higher, but this is the best angle we could get. We're in my shed at the moment. All right, you ready, mate? Yeah. Go for it. Oh, it's fine. That looks like a good one. Yeah. So hopefully this one's a good one guys. That one went in a lot more. So we give this a go now. So click it off mate, set by now. Lead, lead sets in seconds, it doesn't take long at all. Do, do, do. Just pull it apart with your hands mate. So it's gonna burn your hands in a minute. Oh, we got one good one. Hell yeah, as you can see, So get out, there you go, there's one four ounce out of that. All these pieces here we're going to trim up and chuck back in the pot. That's one weight so far. Now the mould's hot enough, we'll be able to start pouring loads. So stay tuned guys, let's start wrapping them out Sam. Next pour, hopefully we get a good one guys. We're going to heat this up, heat it a little bit more mate, we'll try and get a good one out of this. Once you get your lead melted and going, it will continue. As you can see it's like water, but Whatever you do, once the pot's melted, once all the lead's melted in the pot, do not try and move it. That'll be a big mistake because your handle will probably fall off. This is a lot heavier than what it looks like. It looks like water, but it's, it's heavy. It's really heavy. So we're going to go for a quick one. Ready, boss? Yep. Oh, that one looked good. Yeah. Hell yeah, let's set. Be set in no time this. Hell yeah, nice one. What I'm gonna do now is, I've got weights for a ball, uh, molds for uh, ball weights, but I'm just gonna put them in the frying pan because the frying pan's hot now. That should be all right now, mate. Quickly crack her up. Burn on my gloves, hell yeah. There you go, that's what we were after, guys. There you go. Two weights, hell yeah, nice and new. We use these for all sorts of fish in this. You ready, boss? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Straight away, that's a good one. Yeah. Hell yeah, another leg ready. As you can see, we got we got other molds in inside the uh, frying pan. It's a good way just to keep them hot. That one should be all right now, mate. Take it off. There you go, guys. Hell yeah. So we won't film any more of these. We're going to keep pumping loads out and we're going to move on to the next lot. Hell yeah. Amazing how much leads, guys. That's in the space of about what 10 minutes, Sam? Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Yeah, we've got about 20 leads there. Some are 
well, a few, a couple of them are about four ounces, but they're perfectly fine. Hell yeah, guys. Gonna get this last one poured and we're gonna get on to maybe some smaller ones or the pair leads. Stay tuned. For the clean up of these leads, guys, it's good to do this one, they're still hot. These ones just didn't make it. They can still be used perfectly. Here's bits like this on the leads. All of these, put them all to one side. Especially the ones like that. Just where the overfill is, you can either snap them off or cut them off. It's like that one. There you go. And there you go, you're pulling out perfect leads. And this lot is pure lead. It's all the dross has been taken out. There might be a little bit left. And what you do is while it's still hot, is what you're doing, is if I can get this off. It's probably better to have a big snips or something. Get that and get it all straight back in the in the lead mix because that will, that will melt a hell of a lot quicker than what the normal lead will, the cold lead. So stay tuned. We we'll get these sorted, get all the lead melted up again and start making a different sort. We got enough of these now. Woo, it's good. With the ready-made leads, just pour them into the water well away from all the ones burning. Perfect. Go. Cools them all down. Ready? But make sure your bucket of water is nowhere near any of this. Because like I said before, and I've said it a few times for a good reason, any sort of water near this will make it just fizz up and explode. So that is the last thing you want. On a different sort of lead now, guys. These are pear leads. Ideal for beach fishing. They're in 170 gram. And what's the other one? Uh, 130 or something. 120. 120 gram. These are something that we would predominantly use, so we're going to make a lot of these. I'm going to keep going until all the swivels are gone. Hell yeah, guys. Stay tuned. Some of these pears, what we're doing is anything you like, same as the ladle, the spoon, anything like that, just make sure you dip it in there and keep it in there for a little bit. And uh, otherwise, the lead will just stick to it. So that's the last thing you want, get it nice and hot. I'm just gonna get the dross out of here. Like you say, like you see, uh, the lead doesn't stick to it so much. You want it nice and clean. Look at that. That's what we mean by dross. That's all the scum from all the uh, lead. Any sort of rubbish that's on them. You can keep cooking this, scraping the bottom and that, and you can get all of the uh, all the dross straight to the top. See that one, scrape the side. Looks cool when it's when it's all mounted, that's for sure. But like we said, this is the last time I say it, is please be careful, especially if you're new to doing this. I've done this a lot when I was younger, all the way till now. So I'm experienced doing this, that's why I'm quite confident. But if you're younger, get a help from an adult, definitely. I wouldn't advise doing this by yourself if, you, if you're not sure on how to do it. So we're gonna get on, get these cooking up, guys. Ready, mate? Might need to put that back on the frame for a little bit. What we're doing with the cooker, he's gonna heat it up, we're gonna slide this back, and that's what we're pouring over. I've only just brought this and this is pretty wrecked now. <laughs> so this is this is a this is a lead making stove now, without a doubt. I'll just slide this there, mate. You can go on the side. Get this heated up. It's really enjoyable doing this because you're saving yourself money and it's something different, eh mate? Oh, of course. Different video for you guys, so you can make your own LEDs. And the molds, depending on which ones you get, such as like these, they're about eight or nine quid each. The bigger ones, like these sort of ones, they're about the 20 quid mark. But when you're popping out sort of 100 LEDs in, a, in one session, that's paid for itself, saved yourself money, and had fun doing it. Hell yeah. Ready to get pouring, mate? Yeah, it's good. That one doesn't look, is it clipped down all right? Yeah. Oh, yes, all right. All right, let's go. Hopefully this one comes out in one. Ready, mate? Yeah, definitely. Ooh. 
Hell yeah. We'll just take that down there, mate. Same principle as before, guys. We'll just get it. Get all the rubbish off. Crack it open. And there you go. Just why it's still, it's like a hot potato. Two fresh leads. Hell yeah. We pop those out, trim them up after. Get them in the pan, ready to go. That's the Aquapedos guys. Is that one out now, is it? Fair ones. Sound. Look at that. Fresh weights guys. Buzzing. Brand spanking new. You see we've made those in the space of six, seven minutes. Yeah, don't take long. Once once that once that mould gets heated up and your hands, you, know, you can really work. But never fill your pot right to the top. Leave it sort of just over half. And that's just enough to make a load of load of weight, sorry. So we're gonna carry on now, make a ton more. Run out of lead in the pot guys. That one half of pot that we did has done that many leads so far. Hell yeah. Good little tip is when, you're, when your mold's still hot, keep it in your saucepan. And that will keep it hot for the next time, just on a low flame, like that. What I'm gonna do now is start cleaning these up. Just cleaning the leads up now guys. Just by some more, uh, more leads melting. All we got is a pair of snips and just the uh, the little tags, you just get them off like so, popping the lead out into a bucket of water. Hell yeah, just gonna continue to do this. I must have about 50 leads there already. We haven't been doing this very long. Sometimes the eye gets caught, all you gotta do is just cut round it. And all this uh, waste is already really hot, so it's perfect for just getting it off when it wants to come off like so there you go there's the lead perfect little lead there's the rest of it that goes straight in the pot Cutting up some lead now guys, ready for the next, next well, the next lot. Starting to rack up a load now. You can really start, like I said before, you can really start racking some up. All I'm doing is cutting about a piece like that and then bend it in half, chuck it in there just like that. Do a load of them and just keep piling it in, let it melt down. And then each sort of half, half full of the pot will do about 30 leads. So, and I'll always recommend get a good cast iron pot because it will retains its heat. Once you get it going, then it's, it's, it's easy to maintain it. Sometimes if there's a fluctuation in the temperature, it will just, it will harden on you and it's a pain to get back. Oh, there's a perfect example here. That's, that's what happens. It'll end up solid and then it takes ages to try and melt down again. So once you get going, just keep it topped up. Don't try and empty it as you're making the leads. Just keep going. Keep filling it up. 
Oh yeah. This cooker's looking a bit worse for wear now. <laughs> Definitely going to be a lead mount cooker from now on. So stay tuned guys, I'm going to get it all mounted up again, then I'm going to move on to the little ball weights and then possibly some okay, bigger... guys, the lead's in there now. Won't take long for that to melt down. All I'm doing at the moment is I've got a frying pan that I've bent. Just one that I've used in the past. And I've just put that over the top and that just acts. It just keeps the heat locked in and it melts a lot quicker. What I'm doing at the moment guys, just playing around a bit. I've got some stainless steel wire for grip leads, but I don't have the grip lead moulds, I've lost them over the past. So I've just made a little clip just for the end, just to put in like that. Um, what I'm doing, I'm just playing around now just to see if I can make some sort of disposable, disposable grip lead. In fact, we'll go in there. And I'm thinking I'm going to put some, I've got some uh, galvanised wire, I'm going to make a a couple of U's and put them inside here and fill it up to the up to the six or seven ounce mark of lead and just see if I can bend them around just see if it see if it'll work it's always fun trying different things guys so let me give it a go get some wire give you the run through with me no harm in just messing around see what, see what you can do so what I'm thinking this is all hypothetical at the moment. Is I'm going to make something like that and put it in there like that. So I put one there and one the other way. Fill it with lead and see if I can bend them round to make make grip leads. I think that might might actually work. You never know. I'm just bringing you along for the ride with me, guys. I'm always a uh, I'm quite a curious person like that. I like making things and trying new things. So if I can make myself some disposable grip leads for congas, because the ground we fish for congas is full of weed, and we throw uh, we throw four ounce grip leads into them, and uh, they come back most of the time. So which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it works for some reason. So I was thinking these and greenhouse wire bends quite easy, so. So if I do that, that's the whole gist of what I'm trying to do, is make a big grip lead that will anchor the bottom, especially as the tide comes up around the lighthouse and stuff like that. It really, really pulls in. So I'm going to give that a go. Once the lead's melted, guys, I'll bring you up. Once the uh, lead's melted, guys, I'll, uh, I'm going to give this a go. No harm in just playing around. See if you can save yourself money. It's £1.50 for a grip lead. And I really do not enjoy losing them. Sometimes I'll lose 10 in a trip, which is 15 quid, which is 15 quid that I don't want to lose. So <laughs> stay tuned guys. I'm gonna play around a bit, see what we can do. Still brewing guys. Starting to get a lot of muck in the bottom of this lead now. You'll find once you've been doing it a while, You'll end up with a lot of uh, bits in it, bits of dross and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gone. So what I'm going to do is empty out the, you can see here, where one is just, as soon as a bit goes in it, that's it, it's gone. So now, I've got to clean out all that I'm doing, because it's all going a bit lumpy now. Get it all cleaned out, get some more on the go, hopefully. Whew. Just going to do the last couple of moulds now, guys. I've got my my uh, strange little uh, grip lead set up all uh, out of the way now. So what I'm going to do is just do a quick pull weight one, just to see if it's hot enough. I don't think it is. I'll leave that one down there. Get my grip lead ready. Whether this was going to work or not, I couldn't tell you, but anything's worth a go. Get that in there. There it is guys, Let's see what this come out like, there you go, that actually works really well, what I'm going to do is, 
pop these up like this. So it's like a little grapnel, grapnel anchor. Right, that. I'm gonna do more of these. Just cause these, I don't, I wouldn't care about losing them. Cause all I'm doing is chucking these into snaggy ground. There you go. Obviously, trim them up the best way you want to. Yeah. This is why it's always fun playing around with things. Just to see what it's like. Get that there. Ugh. I'm gonna make the uh, prongs a little bit smaller. And this I can put on a small breakaway bit of line on it. And I, I wouldn't care about losing that. That's all the dross inside there and a bit of lead. So, hell yeah. I'm not going to make any more tonight. It's starting to get dark now, so I'm going to pump a few more pear leads out. Woo! That's it. That's mould now, guys. Got a little bit left in the uh, pot, so I just want to use it up. This is about, I don't know, 14 ounce lead, I think. Something like that. Just with a swivel on the end. Uh, I've been heating it up for a little while. So hopefully it works the first time. Get a good amount in this one. Ooh, that could be a good one. Not sure yet, guys. To find out, get it all off. Make sure it's all nice and cooled off. See what we got going. Yeah, look at that. That's a beauty right there. Going for a second pour, guys. Managed to get the clip in after burning my fingers a couple of times. Get in there. Hell yeah. Just using up the last of the lead. Beautiful. There's about four more, I reckon. And to get these done, give you a better show, guys. Hell yeah. See if this one came out all right. Pop him. Hell yeah. Proper lead, these ones. Just getting rid of the last of what's in the pot now, guys. All you do, instead of leaving it in a big clump, just get your frying pan or something flat, a concrete block, and you just pour it in so it's nice and flat. Just like so. And then you can break it up next time you come to do this. And you're all set, ready to go, basically. Turn the heat off. Happy days. Just like so, as you can see the frying pan's full, if I just turn turn the camera to the floor, you'll see, I just do that, bam, got one big lump of lead right there, all flattened out, ready to go for your next trip, next trip, I say, next mountain sesh, hell yeah. Check that out guys, we've got the big ones. All loaded up, got some nice, well these are 5 ounce bombs, I think these are 5 or 6 ounce piers or pear leads, loads of different sorts, these are the main ones that we use during the shore, my makeshift grip weight, hell yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode guys, there'll be plenty more to come like this, I've got a lot more moulds to try out and I've got some on the way ordered as well. These are all the old ones, but they still work to this day. Investing in your own is great. But, you know, you can you can make a lot of leads in a short period of time. I've, I've only been doing this a couple of hours, and I was playing around a lot of the time. So, it's all good, guys. A good old haul. Loads of leads. Going to save me a fortune. If you like my channel, like, subscribe. It's Smash Fishing.